Hi, this is Daniel Cohen here at Caspio. Uh, this is Create a Searchable Database Importing a Table. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a report data page. Here's an example uh, of the report I'm going to be making. This is just a simple uh, branch search, a branch location search, uh, where you can choose a, uh, choose a state and uh, choose a city and then uh, search to find uh, a location and see the drill down to see a details, uh, more details about that location. So um, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, here is an Excel sheet that I have that has all of my locations uh, in it. Uh, as you can see it's about, let's see, about 1600 different locations uh, throughout the US. Um, Another point to notice is that the column headers are here on top uh, as the first row. Um, so I'll show you first. Um, so let's go to Caspio Bridge. So uh, just like in the previous uh, video tutorial, uh, we're going to follow the same three steps of uh, creating a table, then uh, creating a data page, and then deploying the data page onto your website. So first I'll start in the tables view. Um, this time, instead of creating a new table, I'm going to import that Excel file. So uh, I go up here to the import table uh, button. Now this is the import table wizard, uh, which will guide us through importing uh, any type of data. As you can see, uh, there are a lot of different formats uh, that Caspio can import. Uh, today, I'm just doing uh, the Excel workbook that we saw earlier. So I select Excel and then click Browse. Now I'll go find that uh, Excel file that I had open, which was branch locations. Click Open. And then click Next. So what Caspio does is look uh, through that Excel file and find uh, all of the sheets that are inside. Uh, in this case I just have the one sheet branch locations. So this will be imported as a new table. I could also append or uh, append to a table that exists already uh, or replace a table entirely if I had new data. But new table uh, is what I want. So we'll click Next. Now Caspio goes through each of the columns. Uh, as you saw uh, the the first column name here is uh, imported to the destination field name. It also goes through and selects a data type based on what it sees in the table. Uh, in this case, uh, there is a zip code which I'm going to change to text 255. It's a good it's a good idea to uh, change your zip code to text 255 because a number field will delete the first zero uh, in uh, in the data and sometimes there's a leading zero, especially in some East Coast uh, zip codes. So that's it. Uh, click Finish. Now it's going to be importing in the background, so I can just click Close at this point and then go do uh, whatever else I had to do, but there you see it's already done. Uh, when, the, when the table is fully imported, you'll see it appears here in the table section and you also get an alert up here in the corner. Um, uh, so you can see here import uh, loaded successfully so you can you can also just watch up there <laughs> so that's it now if I open my table here in Caspio you can see it's the same all the same data has been imported successfully so um, now I can go to the data page section directly and start to create my data page